Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Pure Green Green Team Challenge. Last time we retired Metapod by evolving it accidentally, evolved Weak Bell and Execute, got a whole lot of other things in it on Saffron Cities, and got our fourth gym badge. About that bit with the Chansey, see the disclaimer I added in post explaining why I did what I did. Um, anyways, you may wonder, why are we in Pallet Town? Well, it turns out that if you called your called a bunch of people on the payphone and sell it on City, certain events happen. Or at least that's what I've been told. Uh, okay, I guess not. So yeah, according... Oh! Well, that would explain it. Yep, so... Yeah, your dad doesn't show up because you missed him. No surprises there. I have had barley tea. It's actually quite tasty. And now, of course, we could also call Professor Oak. Let's see if he has anything to say. Or... Nah, he's... It's just checking the Pokedex. Never mind. Anyways, uh, back to Celadon City. Actually, I lied, I forgot. After you beat each gym leader, you get these. Apex Chips. So yeah, you get two of those every time you beat a gym leader. And what they do is they max out your Pokemon's DVs. Which are the equivalent of IVs. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be using these. Kind of broken, but... Well, there is a post-game challenge, which we will probably end up doing, where you're definitely going to need those. So, uh, let's go get the other ones that I missed real quick. Now, of course, the gym guide for Celadon City is not in the gym, which is convenient because, well, he's in here. And this is where we need to go to deal with Team Rockets. But there's also other things we can get. Uh, some guys in here, they give you free coins. Okay, so that guy gives you coins, that guy gives you coins. I think that's this guy. Okay, uh, let's check real quick. Because there might have been extra coin. You think there would be some extra coins, but guess not. There might be some stuff we'll want from the, uh, prize corner, but we're not gonna gamble. We'll just grind for money over in the Safari Zone when we can do that. I'll explain when we get there. Put a long story... Although, to put a long story short, I guess I can tell you, um... The Safari Zone works differently in this hack. So there's the Classic Mode. There's Free Roam, which... is the mode I'm talking about, basically. And this one removes the step counter, but also adds a bunch of trainers. And you can rebattle them every time you enter. That's basically the only way to farm money other than Payday or beating the Elite Four over and over again. And then, of course, there's the Ranger Hunt, which is like Free Roam, but also has the step limit. And if you beat all of them, you get a Hyper Ball. I'll explain what the Hyper Ball does when we get it. Okay, so now we're down here in the hideout, and we're just gonna beat everyone up. In fact, let's... Let's switch these around. Nothing down there. Yes, I did. What, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Super potions. Useful. Okay, anything down here? 
I don't think so. Double check. Oh, there is! Or, wait. Power point up! Good stuff. Now we have three of them. Although I should note that power point ups in this hack are actually power point maxes, basically. So a single one can max out all the power points of a given mode. Oh, fuck off. Oh, no, you don't. We're actually going to go out and heal after we're done here, and I'm not going to bother using Oddish because that's not going to stay on the team for too much longer. We'll heal after I've cleared out the uh, third floor, I get oh, the bottom floor, whatever. Put a needle. Um, I don't think I'm going to need cut again. And even, the, even if I do, I can just reteach it later on, so. Yep, you can forget HMs normally. So, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so, I forget, did they change the effects of, uh, whoops, not that one. Okay, where's Twin Needle? There it is, Twin Needle. Yep, so, hits twice, 50 base power each time, so it's effectively 100 base power bug-type attack. That's good shit. TN 23 I think that's Solar Beam, isn't it? No, it's Dragon Rage. Uh, Dragon Rage is is actually changed in this hack to a generic dragon type of move. It's kind of like a dragon pulse or something like that. Yeah, if I recall correctly... Yeah, it's grass dragon, so that would actually be good to teach you. We'll get rid of Bide. There's a storm going outside, I just heard some thunder. Okay, so we go up here, get this. Rare candy. We go back up here. Oh yeah, that's the other thing that they changed is that in this hack, the warp tiles move a lot faster, which is really nice. Make me. Hit point up. Okay, we're gonna give that to, uh... If I recall correctly, Magmar is a fire and psychic type in this. There's the lift key! We got that. And now we are just gonna warp out of here and heal. Oh, and TM9, that's Slash. Which, uh, good move normally, but, uh, I don't know if I want it. Because, again, crits are nullified by, uh, well, crits nullify your stat gain, so they're not always something you want. Okay, so now we go up here. Get a nugget. Get Carbos. We're gonna use that real quick. Oh, you're already maxed out. Uh, Exeggutor. Nope. 
Victory Bell, your speed goes up. And in fact, we're actually going to go down to Fuchsia City before we do the Pokemon Tower, I think. Because, uh, well, that's where we're probably going to get more, more Pokemon, is the Safari Zone and places like that. I think I might have gone the wrong way. No, I think we're going, no, we're going the right way. Because there's another item we can get right over here. Okay, your attack is maxed out. Uh, actually, you no, know we're gonna hold on to that. Now we go down here, and down here, and then down here, and then down here. We could just go right to Giovanni right now, but I don't wanna. I'm gonna train a bit more. Oh, fuck off. Be that way. Oh, right, you're a ground type. Yeah, if you lose track of how the types are changed in this hack, don't worry. It happens to me, too. Hyper Potion. Uh, great, now we gotta reorganize this shit again. You know, I'm going to skip ahead. Oh, right, I forgot. You can't go to Fusion City until after you do the Pokemon card, because you need the damn Poke Flute. Derp. All right, let's go down to base of the fourth floor. Let's go over here real quick. I'm getting iron. Fuck off and stay asleep. It just seems it does it just wasn't meant to be. Victor Bell was not meant to make it to the end. Fuck off. And now we meet the big boss man himself. And here's some unique music. So yeah, this was the cut encounter music for Giovanni. Um you can hear it all you can find it in its entirety on YouTube and elsewhere. And of course, because he has rock and ground types, this is just going to be a curb stomp. Mm-hmm. Sure. With that, he walks away. And we get a Silscope. Forget, are there any other items here? Yes, there are. Okay, so... Oh, it's two proteins! Good! That means we can max out the attack stats of whatever Pokemon we get next, which I think is going to be Pinsir. Anyways, let's get out of here. Okay, so now we reach Lavender Town, we're going to go right in here. Okay, so... Down in there, there's a little Easter egg. Um, I won't... I won't show it to you guys, because I don't have what you need to do it. But let's just say that if you have a Gengar, go down there and talk to a certain NPC. Something interesting will happen. And there's a rival. Uh, yeah. Let's see, are there any items over here? 
Nope. Alright, well, we're gonna save real quick. Okay, so, now we can talk to this asshole. Named Asshole. Oh, fuck off already! Oh, we're gonna heal. We'll take that chance. Or, yeah. Of course, you're just not gonna hit. You're gonna refuse to hit every damn time. Nice try. <laughs> calling me a stinker. The guy literally named Asshole is calling me a stinker. That's rich. Alright. Well... We're facing, we're facing a lot of ghosts, so... Now, there are, of course, non-poison ghost types in this hack. But, the majority of them are still going to be, well, po dual ghost and poison. Let's take care of her over there. Five Awakenings, which, uh, we're not gonna need those for much longer. Because, guess what? The Poke Flute doubles as a reusable Awakening. Just like it does in later generations. Oh. Okay, well. And that was, I think, with Max of Ethers. What? Okay, we're gonna switch over to Scyther now. That was a Calcium. Uh, we're gonna give that to, uh, it's a four. No, Victory Bell. Hit point up. We'll hold on to that. Eh, I might as well catch it. That box is almost full. Oh yeah, we didn't catch you in Rock Tunnel. Okay, so, yep. Heal. Well, again, you know, I think there's hidden items somewhere around here. Ooh, Haunter. And like all the other um, trade evolution Pokemon in this hack, it evolves into Gengar at level 37. Okay, we have exactly one slot left. Good. Because, well, there's exactly one more Pokemon I want to catch while we're here. Nope. 
We're not gonna take Slash. Candy. Now we're gonna go back and heal real quick. And we did that because we are going to encounter the ghost Marowak. Or we should have encountered the Are we too early for that? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> okay, so it's just time simultaneously with the encounter. Because unlike in vanilla, you can catch the ghost Marowak here. In fact, if you do, there's some unique dialogue with Mr. Fuji. Hmm. Now? Found a spam. Oh, fuck off. You would wake up right away. There we go! Well, you're not going to be doing any fighting, but you can cheer me on from the sidelines. I'm not sure if you heard that, but that was another, uh, lightning strike. That one was pretty close. I actually felt it shake the house. Oh, fuck off! No, we're not playing that game. I just did! And of course, my Pokemon's still poisoned. Because Victor Bell is now grass and dragon, not grass and poison. Okay, so yeah, this, uh, give. Wait. Oh, I have no room for it. Never mind, let's go and take care of that real quick. Uh, get in here and heal. In fact, you know what? Let's just sell those awakenings real quick. Be right back. So now we cleared everything out. Let's go here and, uh, oh, not this house. We have to go find a different one, and I'm gonna keep talking because, of course, copyright striking bots will just flag this because of fu some fucking reason, because of the stupid goddamn meme. Also, now I've ditched, uh, Aerodactyl and Oddish back to the PC because I'm probably not gonna use Oddish anymore, and Aerodactyl is obsolete because I could use Dig for the same purpose as Fly. Unless I'm above water, apparently. But I'll just demonstrate the interface real quick. You see? It's just like fly. But we're not going to do that. We're actually going to go south. Next time. Uh, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.